Digital tools are part of our daily life, but what makes digital PCR digital? Digital PCR is digital because, like in the world of microprocessors, everything is based on a binary principle. It's one or zero, on or off, or signal or no signal. But how does it work? First of all, we set up the PCR reaction, similar as for a standard PCR. In the next steps, the reaction setup is partitioned into thousands of individual compartments. The PCR process is applied to all the partitions, but the amplification only happens in those partitions where the target DNA is present. Each partition that contains the target DNA creates a signal. Those partitions that create that signal can simply be counted. But in all of those partitions that create a signal, it can be that there was one or two or multiple target DNA molecules. Applying Poisson statistics allows to calculate the original DNA concentration. Back to our question, what makes digital PCR digital? Digital PCR creates distinct on and off signals. It doesn't need the creation of a standard curve. So counting individual signals makes it an absolute quantification. And that's the difference. What is the main advantage of digital PCR compared to classical PCR methods? In digital PCR, the reaction mix is partitioned into thousands of individual reactions. With that, the competition between the target DNA and the wild-time DNA is drastically reduced. With that, it's a great method, for example, for rare mutation detection. But there is another advantage. The method is much more tolerant to inhibitors, and that makes it a much more robust technology compared to classical PCR. A major difference in the performance of digital PCR comes from the way the partitions are created. Therefore, next time in this series, the magic of the nanoplate. No crystals, no droplets, no chips. See you next time. Sample to Insight.